Oh. What did we bring you with baby brother? The moment they finally saw each other, they had an instant connection. <laughs> it made me tear up. Oh, parkour. I guess we love our dogs a little too much. But <laughs> what did we get to? There was a lot of emotion in our house that day because Walker was so happy, he was so excited. It made us all so happy. Oh. Ew! Oh. My boyfriend has a golden retriever as well. Hello, pretty girl! Him and Willow, they love each other. You know, they have a, definitely have a bond. Um, as per my boyfriend's uh, custody agreement, the dog stays with his daughter. So um, when the children are with his ex, Willow is with the ex. So we don't see her a lot. When she went back to the exes, Walker, he was devastated. For a few weeks, he just, he moped about the house. He whined, he cried, he was very lonely. But now every time she leaves for two weeks, he's like devastated, he's crushed. We just decided to get him another dog because he was just so lost without her. And we just felt he needed that full-time friend, a full-time companion. Come here, Walker. Come here. Okay, sit. He was just a mess of emotions, the tail wagging. Why did we bring you with baby brother? He was so happy he was whining. <laughs> it was like he couldn't believe we brought him a friend. I don't know if he understood that this friend was going to stay. <laughs> stay forever, it wasn't just visiting, but he, um, yeah, he was very, very happy. He was so gentle, like the first few weeks. Now that Waylon's doubled in size, he is a little less cautious with him. Hi, cuties. They're inseparable. We don't find one without the other hardly ever. You know, we could learn a lot from dogs. Dogs are so accepting. They're so, so genuine with their feelings and their emotions. Their love is unconditional. People could learn a lot from dogs. <laughs>